Hello guys, welcome to the 19th session of Blazor Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will learn to use Build Render Tree to generate component dynamically. We will create a component named Person, which will display person name and mobile number. Those values will be passed through a parameter and this component will be dynamically added to another component. Open Visual Studio and create a new component. Personal details. Create a parameter for string name and string mobile. It will display the values of both parameters in the p tag name and mobile. Create a new component. Tree Builder Demo From this component, we will dynamically render personal details when the user clicks on the button. Now add page directive first. Session 19 Tree Builder Demo Create Render Fragment Person Details Fragment Now create a listener for add person details. From this, we will just call build person to get render fragment details. Create build person. It will return render fragment. Pass builder. Using this builder, we can add any Blazor component or HTML component. And using open component, we can add the Blazor component. The first parameter will be an integer. It specifies the sequence number for that component or content. The Blazor algorithm relies on the sequence numbers to identify which partition will be removed or where a component will be added. We should use it. Hard coded, not generate dynamically using the incrementing variable or something else. It starts at zero. The second parameter specifies the type of component that you want to add. We will add person details. This component has two parameters. For add parameters, we need to use the add attribute method. Again, need to specify sequence number. Specify parameter name and its value. Similarly, add 8 for mobile number. Here we have opened component. Now we need to close it by using the close component method. This method will build the render fragment and we will assign this to person details fragment on button click. Let's render this fragment here. Initially, it will be null, so it will do nothing. Create a button, on click call, add person details. Save the file and run the project. Open the page. Click on a button. Here we got person details component and it included values specified in the parameter. Here we have used render tree builder to render blazer component. We can also render HTML tags too. Here I am going to generate this personal details via render tree builder. Stop execution. Let's create a new class named personal details code behind. Here we will not create a razor file, we will use attributes for this. Use route attribute to specify routing.
inherit class from component base and now create parameter for name with default value nilai. Also create a mobile. Now we need to override build render tree method of component base and we will get rendered tree builder. Call method of base class first. Here we want to generate ptag, so use open element method. Specify the sequence and pass element name that is p. Within that open btag. Here we want to add plain tag so use add content method again pass sequence and pass plain text that you want to add and b tag using close element method and now add the value of name property add br tag and close element. Copy paste those lines. Update for mobile number. Now save the file, run the project. and open the page. Here we got person details as per render tree builder and here we have not specified master page in our code behind the page so it does not render with master page style. For this you can use the layout attribute and specify the type of master page component. Now let us see what we have learned in this session. We have used render fragment and fill it using render tree builder. Open component used to add blazer component. Add attribute used to add parameters. And here we have to pass sequence which is internally used by framework. Here is a simple person details component in which we just display parameter values. In this example we have used core behind architecture. Using route attribute specify routing pattern and and in build render tree we have generated component. We have used open element to add bag and add content to add plain text data. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.